offensive line where it needs to be at this point? Uh, we're just working to improve every day. Um, you know, everybody's got stuff to fix, and that's what we do every day at practice. We go out there, try to fix something uh, the best we can. Is it taking longer than you might have expected? Uh, we just do everything we can to get better every day, and we move on. You, I know the last time we talked to you, Freddie kept saying it's still a competition, but now he says you're the guy. Do you feel a sense of I don't know, comfort <clears> or? Uh, I just do what I'm told every day. I come here to practice. I work my butt off to try to improve something. Um, and do what I'm told and have as much fun as I can while I'm doing it, playing this great game and trying to get better every day. When you guys looked at that tape from um, Tampa, what did you see? Uh, I saw some, a lot of good stuff, some great stuff out there and then some stuff to improve on that, we, you know, that we're, working, uh, we're working out there, we're working the day before uh, and we're going to continue to work on. Eric, we saw this defensive front play really well against Tampa. You go against these guys every day. What's it like going against that, that starting program? Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty good. We know that. Uh, <laughs> hell, we played them every day the last damn three weeks. So, uh, you know, I know they're pretty damn good, and it's fun to watch them go out there and, uh, and uh, you know, have a good game like that and put something together like that. So where is this offense with uh, the start of the season just 12 days away? Say that again? Where is the offense? Uh, well, they just got done with practice, so a lot of them are in the locker room now. Um, you know, we're just we're, we're we you know we are we are we're coming in here every day to work hard and get better. Um, you know, we got to improve. We got to improve every day, every week, and uh, you know, have fun and enjoy the game of football. Did you know Hubbard at all before you got here? I did not know Hubbard. Um, and he's a good friend now. Um, you know, we work well together over there, um, and he's a great dude. Does that take some time to? For sure, out? yeah. You know, you got to hear uh, how guys, you know, react to twist to this, to that, to the other. You know, and know like what his go call is or what his reaction is to different stimuli. So uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to that, um, and it's a lot of fun. From the Tampa game, what were some of the things you noticed that you guys uh, need need to work on and can uh, improve uh, just based off of watching that uh, that film? Um, Shoot, well, we can work on, um, you know, some different pass protections and stuff like that, uh, some of the run game stuff, um, some of the football playing, um, and we just come in every day and try to get better at that. How would you grade uh, the, the performance in the in the context of, you know, you're just trying to improve at this point, not go game plan? Sure, yeah, there's a, lot of, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff out there. There's a lot of good stuff um, that was good to see and some stuff to work on that we, you know, we worked on out there, we worked on individually and as a group. Is the line getting any cohesion? Yeah, you've been in there for a while now. For sure, yeah. We're getting, you know, we talk a lot and we talk, uh, you know, the best thing is we communicate efficiently, you know, instead of a ton of words, you know, it's more, hey, psh, psh, eh, eh, you know. Um, so that's, and that's the stuff you build and work on. As a player, do you get more out of a preseason game with limited reps or do you like the joint practices like with what you had with the practices, especially for someone new coming into yeah. Uh, well, the the joint practices are a lot of fun because it you know breaks the monotony of training camp up. Like we're like you said, we're going against you know Ogan Joby and the boys over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So it's nice to kind of have different scenery, different surrounding, um, do that. But then the preseason games are, are good too. You need them because they help us get you know used to game pads, game jerseys. They feel different. You know, you touch people uh, differently in them, and uh, you know it's a different. It's a little bit different, you know, how you uh, game play between practice and, and the game, exactly. You were with Dorsey in Kansas City right there. What do you think may, allows him to build the rosters that he did there and then he's trying to build here? Well, I guess he's got a draft and he drafts <laughs> players. Uh, and, then he sign, and then there's a free agency and you sign people in the free agent. Let me rephrase it. Better than a lot of other GMs. Uh, I guess he knows what he's looking for. He's, he, he looks for the right people. He looks for good teammates. Um, and Dorsey's a lot of fun to be around. And... Uh, you know, uh, to be here. You're going to have to be familiar with uh, Tennessee's front soon enough. Have you already been, uh, you know, uh, familiarizing yourself with the, the Titans? Yeah, a little bit. We, you know, we talk about some stuff here and there. Um, uh, but, you know, we got a lot going on this week, and, you know, we're just working on improving ourselves. Good. What's up with the cleats? You yeah. guys looks like you have been like well, I got this stuff called cleats. swag or, or drip. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, just trying out, I, I usually wear the O-line boots, so these are a lot of, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying a different cleat, see how they feel, because, you know, you got to have different spikes. No, we all have our own pair. 
Yeah, we don't share shoes. Are those, <laughs> are those more comfortable? Uh, they're different. They're a little, I would say, maybe on the turf they wouldn't be as comfortable because it'd be harder. Yeah. Um, but on the dirt, they're pretty comfy. They're better than I thought. I don't know. What, what, playing, with, playing with a guy like Treader, having him as your son, what level of comfort does that give a guy like you who's, again, learning, learning coming into a new office line? Um, it's good. You know, Treader's good at communicating. Uh, he's good at talking, and you know we work well together. Uh, we play a lot of shuffleboard together, so we get to, you know, build a little personal bond, um, and it helps us play football better. So you, you mentioned going against, sorry, Fred, you mentioned going against Larry. What makes him so difficult to, to block? What makes him so good? Uh, well, he's he's uh, pretty strong. He's a good athlete. Um, you know, and so he's doing a lot of moves. He's very active. Uh, so he keeps he keeps working. He keeps working. You got to keep working. You know, you can't take it easy on. Him.